And I think I was really able to capture the vulnerability of a gangster out on a date in public. It looks flawless. I did it, Mario. I finished Gouge Away. You all didn't believe it could be done, but I did it. Adolf's script was the most disturbing thing ever. His notes, meticulous. The details on being eviscerated, and when I stop by to show him the sketches, you I... what? Kyle, I thought I told you never to contact him. Yeah, we were pretty adamant about that. Oh, but he was so gracious, though. I, I mean, he even offered to cook me chili. Unless his chili was as good as my wife's, it wasn't worth it. I wouldn't know, Paul. He took the pages that I had brought and he threw them in the chili. He actually ate a page before he kicked me out. Okay, okay but he didn't hurt you, and you're here now. You finished the art. Finished the shit out of it. I found the exact shade of blood that Adolphus insisted on. It is horrible. My God. The blood and gore. Paul, I don't know if we could publish this. How can anyone walk around with this kind of thing in their head? The accuracy and that body being ripped apart. It's gorgeous. It's the most beautiful horror story I've ever seen. Kyle. This is a masterpiece. Thank you. That's all I needed to hear. I'm sorry, man. I'm still thinking of Kyle's pages. I know. We have never seen an artist so perfect for that book. I think he's the one. Mario! What the hell is that? Do when an artist goes batshit insane. Try to salvage the art and find someone else. How do we salvage this? Kind of looks like some other indie comic book art I've seen. We will not be like other indie comics. Only some of it's burnt beyond repair. Really? It looks like my three-year-old put it in the toaster. We can tape it up. Yeah, well the printers aren't the biggest fans of us taping shit up. Damn it, the printers. Office monkey, just call them and tell them to reschedule this print run. Should I tell them? Artist delay? Well, I'm gonna have to find a new artist now. Sweet. I had $250 in immolation. Let me see that. You had $25 and it was on self-immolation. What? Same thing. Man, we can't keep burning through artists like this. They all weren't that bad. Curse your goddamn book to infernal torments! And you writhe in pain along with Adolphus! If you combine all 118 15 cocktail napkins, they're each a panel, you put them next to each other, full story, you have an anatomically accurate and correct version of Adolphus getting skull fucked by those weird demons. And that's what he asked for, it's in the script. It he wasn't the one getting was skull fucked. Yeah, no, I read it. But Dolphus's writings got under my skin. <sighs> Adolfo's note said it was a species stained landscape. I don't think he meant it literally, and his name's Adolphus. Burn in a pit of unfathomable horrors in the deepest, darkest depths of hell. You spider monkey, a demon. Office monkey, you're not allowed to refer to anybody anymore. He's my cousin. He's my best man. I love him. I love you. Never no change. Be gone, demon. Be gone. Salute.
I regret that. Just listen. Okay, the first one wasn't that bad. Office Monkey Coffee. Stat. Yes, ma'am. Would you like me to refill your mug? Throw it out. It's been contaminated with convention center black water. Do you want cream and sugar? Black, the way it was intended. Oh, good. You're back. Yes, aspirin. Jet lag or hangover? Both. Antidotes? Really? The strongest thing I got. So, how was the conference? Gee whiz, it was super cheap. Come on, it couldn't have been that bad. Sitting in a room with balding, pimple-faced fanboys hanging on every word I say, while it may sound like fun, isn't. In fact, it's the opposite of awesome, it's awesome. How are the other writers? Anybody we should look into stealing from the others? Those were the other writers. The real fans were fine. So, while you were gone, we had a little incident. Incident? I don't know if you happen to notice the mess on the layout table. I was admiring it, yes. Another care package from ex-wife number four? No. She's respecting the restraining order. <laughs> Those are Kyle's pages for Gouge Away. Really? He's a lot more experimental than I gave him credit for. No, he actually destroyed them and ran out. I just had to cancel another print order. Damn it! Look, it's just a minor setback. No, I had $250 riding on Kyle lasting at least two issues, then blowing up Adolphus's house with that douche still at home. Come on! I wasn't gonna help him, maybe just give him my lighter. Well, now we need to find another artist. Maybe it's time to cut our losses and cancel Gouge Away. What? It might be our names on the mastheads, but it was Adolphus and Gouge Away that got us Royal Comics. We owe him. Right. And in the last three years, we've had to deal with Adolphus's psychosis, artists walking out on the job, losing money in canceled solicitation and ads. We all respect Adolphus, but maybe it's time we start focusing on projects we can sustain. All right. Well, then will you, as the publisher, go to Adolphus's house and tell him that we're canceling his book? We need to find another artist ASAP. Can we demand psych evaluations on the applicants? I'll find out. I need a drink. Gin, whiskey, or tequila? Stronger. Coffee! Go with this one. I have some damn good coffee. Let's not feed this one to the hogs. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, good, you're there. A question about the script. Hey, Paul, what's that? Ow! Shit. Uh, what's up? Did I catch you at a bad time? I'm just fixing my typewriter. Why do you still use that, you Luddite? You have a laptop. Real writers shouldn't have to control alt delete. I'm just trying to save you some frustration. Then why'd you call? Deadline. I'm waiting for the last page of that script that your typewriter isn't giving me. Stop blaming my typewriter, ignoramus. I don't see you illustrating on your computer. Photoshop is for douchebags. What was your question? How is that date of yours? What's that got to do with the script? Well, if it was a good date, you'll have a happy ending. Trust me, there was no happy ending. Especially not for me. So you want the tone of the art to be dark then? Uh, no, it wasn't that bad. Just, you know, the part with the kissing. <laughs> you probably thought you were trying to bite him. Keep it up, jackass, and I'll have Mario assign you to gouge away. 
Okay, don't go there. You can't draw horror. I can draw horror comics. I got plenty of inspiration for horror comics. You've met my family. Still changing diapers? Yeah, I didn't know shit could splatter in that many directions on a human body. <laughs> Do you realize this is the most flirtatious conversation I've had in weeks? What about the date? Included. Oh my god, what time is it? It's, uh, it's almost noon. 12 o'clock? Meet you there. Last one there pays the bill. Deal. Across town. Traffic laws are just recommendations. You know those are fake, right? Man, I don't know what some artists are thinking sometimes. You use nudes, right? Yeah, for my paintings. Do they ever look like that? Uh, no. Do you ever think about women like that when you're with another woman? What? No, I think about my wife. Isn't it awkward thinking about your wife when you're with another woman? <laughs> Is it true? What? I was just telling Cleric here about dipshit Kyle. Paul was there, he saw the whole thing. Yeah, it was crazy. Usually they turn in the pages, you just never see him again. Mother puss bucket. I ate 80 bucks that he would burn down Mario's office. I had 50 bucks, he started shooting up India ink. I didn't know Gwen had a new book out. Gwen, Gwen? Mario's Gwen? Our Gwen. Oh, her artwork, it is amazing. She's doing horror again. I couldn't read it in bed. It freaked me out. Paul, buy this for me. What? That's like $30. You can write it off. It's business research. No! Are you insane? This will not end well. You know what? Technically, Office Monkey was the last one here. What? You, you drove me here. Right, and you walked in after me, so... I'm an intern. I don't make that much money. Paul, we need to get this. We found our artist for Gaojue. Oh, sure. Mario and ex-wife number two, working together. That won't be awkward at all. I think her artwork was actually better when she was married to Mario. I think there's a restraining order against her at the office. I think the Statue of Limitations is a... What? No, I'm not buying you a book by that asshat Zach Bayfield. Whatever. I read it on the John anyways. <laughs> That's right. Keep it coming. So, why do you think you can illustrate Galjoy? I was reared on Adolphus's vision of the world. He made me. Right. It's just, your art, it's not dark enough. Look at me. I brought my tools. I'm ready to go. Here's what the last artist drew. <gasps> How did she shit through her tight pants? Here, draw. Oh, it's been ages. Oh, that's sad for you. Very. <laughs> so, how have you been? Good. Thank you. Very good. Um, actually, you've inspired me. Oh, what are you talking about? This is why I called. I mean, I bought your book and... You should have let me know, I would have sent you a copy. I've read it twice. Your art is amazing. That's why I called. Well, that's the situation, Zach. You know I can't pay you superb Dude, wages. Seriously. To work on a book by Adolphus Hellstrom, I'd give my left nut. Yeah, but it's just your artwork. I'm, I'm not sure it's right for this book. Galjoy is an experimental art book. Dude, listen. 
I mean, think of what I can do for you and the book. My name sells comic books. If I wanted to sell comics, I would have worked at a newsstand. Never mind. Listen, dude. You. You. Mario Coelho are the legend. Balls, dude. Big brass balls. That's you. And my name's gonna sell this thing. Hollywood is sucking at my cock right now. They want to make my books into movies. I could do the same for you. And the script wasn't objectionable to you at all? You worry too much. I grew up reading all of Hellstrom's books. You know what, Zach? Just get me some sketches and layouts and we'll go from there, all right? You and me, the infant terrible and the legend. We're gonna kick Superb's ass. We can cha, right? Dude. Bump it. It's done. I'm speechless, Dee. You'd be perfect for it. Your art and storytelling are breathtaking. What about Mario, though? It's been four years. Paul will oversee you in the art. What about Adolphus? We'll let Mario deal with Adolphus. You know, I know Adolphus is his mentor and everything, but why does Mario put up with this? You know men and their loyalty issues? It would be like the old days. Will you be our artist? Deal! Four bucks for this book, and the hat can't even be bothered to pose characters or draw backgrounds. I'm so underpaid. Getting paid requires you be illustrating instead of reading trash. I am doing research. You taught me we need to do that. Research is looking at a talented artist's work, not some softcore porn. These are fake. This comic is outselling us monthly. Selling comics? If you want to sell comics, go work at the shop. Our mission is to create new experiences for... Starting to sound like Mario. This is why I haven't had a decent date in years. At least I'm not the one at work ogling a TNA comic. I suppose it could be kind of not mention the box of tissues on the desk. I've had a cold. How's this script? It's very monosyllabic. Lots of grunting sound effects and guns going off. <laughs> Alright, where's Mario? I need to tell him we found an artist for Gouge Away. Yeah, listen, about that. Excellent news, yes. Uh, yes, we will be deciding on the new artist soon. It is up. No, I will not fix the pool for you. What the hell? Uh, we'll continue this later. Go ahead with the run. What is this bullshit about you hiring Zach can only draw big titted explosions Bayfield to illustrate gouge away without telling me and oh my god, what died in here? The hopes and dreams of several artists. How'd you find out about Zach? Paul told me. I was considering it, but I wanted to discuss it with you first. There is no but way. But before we get all bent out of shape... That was the printers. And? Fortunately, our young novice, Office Monkey, failed to mention that he had scanned all the college pages and sent them in for color correcting. Office Monkey! They said they could work with what he sent them, so Office Monkey saved the day. Coffee. No shit in it. Just like you asked. Why didn't you tell us before? You didn't ask. Leave. We still need an artist for the next issue. I found someone. Oh? I want to hire Gwen Rousseau. Gwen? Gwen Rousseau? My ex Gwen Rousseau? Gwen who betrayed us by staying at Superior Comics Rousseau? You cannot argue she is phenomenal talent. She always was, but that woman tore my heart out. She chewed it up, blew a bubble, and popped it in my face like... Like, like it was Mario Hart bubblegum. Mario, when we started, we both agreed we may be co-owners, but I'm publisher. I invested my money in this. I get final say on the creative talent we hire. So, basically, hire a brainless, talentless whore of an artist, or my ex-wife. Or we're not in this together. 
Do you really think that Gwen can do this? Read her book. She can draw horror better than any artist we've seen. She is the best artist I have ever worked with. Hey! Sorry, Paul, but it's true. Okay. You and Paul deal with her then. And I'll deal with Adolphus. Unlike the sycophant artists we've seen, she's not looking for his approval on the book. Great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some writing to do. You really should get off his monkey to bleach the room. He did. Twice. Hey, Mario Coelho. I want to place a bet on the fate of the next Gougeway artist. All or nothing. Mm -hmm.